Dawny from Dalesford sent me a lovely email saying, Richo, every day I have a boring old sandwich. Is there something you can show me that makes my lunch exciting? Well, Dawny, this is a great little sandwich. This is a Maltese sandwich and it's got the best canned tuna you can imagine. It starts with some grilled bread and I've got some sourdough bread that I've grilled with a little bit of olive oil and it's just ready to turn off. It will be fantastic. Now, the salsa needs to be made and I've got some great little ingredients here. Some Kalamata olives and some pickled onions that have been sliced nice and fine. That gives it some crunch and some oil as well. There's nothing better than Kalamata olives. Now, basil is fantastic, and I'll tear off a couple of pieces of basil just from the top here. You can cut your basil up, or you can just tear it into little pieces. I reckon when you tear it, it squeezes out the basil oil. It makes it even better. Now, these are great little tomatoes, little tiny perinos that have got lots of punch in them, lots and lots of flavour. And you just cut them in half because you want them to look nice and whole and have that bite to them as well. And they're really easy to throw into the bowl here. Now, these cukes are one of my favourite things. I eat them all the time. Baby cucumbers that have a lot of flavour in them. And I'll chop these nice and fine. A little trick with keeping cucumbers nice and fresh is keep them in the plastic. That will stop the fridge from drying them out. Now, I've also got some ricotta cheese, which is a great light cheese. You just grab a couple of pieces of this and crumble it up. This is dry ricotta, so it'll go really, really well in the salsa. Now, to give this salsa a little bit of bite, I'm going to add some capers. These are fantastic. A lot of people don't like capers, but believe me, once you get used to them, they add so much flavour to just about everything you cook. Now, olive oil. We need a good sploosh of olive oil all around it. That's about a tablespoon on there. Some salt goes on there as well. A good sprinkling of salt and, of course, some pepper. That's all you need to do to make a great little salsa. Now, this is going to come together really easily. I've got a lovely plate here, and I'll grab my sourdough bread straight off the pan here. With a couple of stirs, the salsa comes together beautifully, and then it's a matter of just spooning it straight on top of my sourdough bread. Now, I'll let it sort of fall off to the side because I want it to look really, really rustic. And here's the fun part. I've got this great canned tuna. This is fantastic tuna because it's the whole fillet cooked in oil and it holds together beautifully. And if you have a look inside, they're great big pieces of tuna. And that's what I'm looking for. Lots of flavour and lots of big flaky pieces. And I just pop them straight over the top here. You don't need to be gentle because they're quite firm and easy to manoeuvre. And I just like to pour a little of that tuna oil over the top of it. It's got so much flavour in it. Now I'm going to tuck into it, Dawny, and tell you what I think. Oh, looks great. Have a look at that thick slice of tuna on the top there. Mm. Nothing boring about that.